Hey friends, welcome back for another Worth Wednesday. Happy New Year to you. This is the first Worth Wednesday of 2019. If you are a first time viewer, welcome. I'm Donetta and if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I simply wanna ask you a question. What is your agenda? What's your agenda when you are reading your Bible? When you open your Bible, what do you seek to do? What do you seek to achieve? What is the purpose behind reading the Bible for you personally when you open your Bible? Couple reasons. Oftentimes we read, we're seeking for truth. Um, sometimes we are seeking confirmation about something. Other times we're wanting to prove or disprove someone or some thoughts or idea. And none of these reasons for reading the Bible are inherently bad reasons. Um, some of these reasons are actually good reasons. We should go to the Bible um, to find truth. We should go to the Bible to um, confirm or disprove anything that we think or have heard about God. But I ask that because I wonder um, how often do you go to your Bible without an agenda? And I'm asking myself this too. How often do I read the Word of God and say to myself or say to the Lord, um, God, what would you have me to learn today? What do you want to teach me today? How often do we open our Bibles um, with no preconceived notion other than I want to hear from the Lord, I want to know God, and I want to hear what he's saying to me through his word. Well, I want to encourage you to do more of that this year um, for a couple of reasons. Um, I know if you're anything like me, um, if you go to the Bible without a plan, if you don't have like a, okay, I'm going to be reading this, this, and this today, or I'm studying to find out about this, sometimes it can seem like, a little aimless. Um, it can seem boring. It can seem, you know, purposeless, like if you just open your Bible and start reading. Um, so sometimes in the past, it has been hard for me to do that because in my mind, I'm like, you know, I need to be looking for something specific in this good book. And oftentimes I am. But I want to encourage you to read the Bible more without a preconceived agenda this year. Go to the Bible and just say, Lord, you know, what would you have me to learn today? Uh, what would you have me to know about you and your character today? What do you want to speak to me about my life? Without going to say, prove a point that you're already thinking in your mind. Um, sometimes it's easy to do that, to have an idea, even if it's for, um, the purposes of teaching. Sometimes it's easy to have an idea of what you want to say, what points you want to make, and then you just open up your Bible to find scriptures that will prove that point. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that when it is something that you have been taught from the Word of God and you are gathering scriptures to um, confirm, to build upon an idea, a precept found in the Bible. There's nothing wrong with that. But I believe we do ourselves a disservice when we don't open the Bible, pray, ask the Holy Spirit to lead, guide, help us to focus and hear from the Lord without going to find anything particular. I think it's great when we can open our Bibles and trust that we can learn and read and that God can speak to us knowing that he is all-knowing, that he's sovereign. He knows what we need to know. He knows what's ahead. He knows what we're actually dealing with in life presently, even when we only can see one dimension of it. So I'm encouraging you and myself to do more of that um, this year. And I feel like one of the ways to guide that feeling of aimlessness when you're just reading and not looking for any particular topic is to... Find a plan that is uh, basically just helping you to know what you're going to be reading that particular day. And there's different ways to do that. Um, there are one-year Bibles out there. I've tried the one-year Bible plan before, and I'm doing a read the Bible in one year plan this year. So that's one way. And then there's also the um, 
there's actually there's actually a one year Bible, like a Bible that is um, organized so that you can read through the Bible in a year, and it's organized um, by days, and it's not just like Genesis through Revelation. It's like you'll have a Genesis a chapter or two in Genesis. Um, a proverb, a psalm, um, a gospel. Um, it's it's arranged in in order in the actual book that will help you to read through the Bible in a year in a meaningful and wholesome way. So that's an option. Um, my preference at this point is to do a read the Bible in a year plan so that I'm actually reading certain scriptures, but I'm going to those scriptures in my Bible in the order that the Bible is already um, arranged. So um, that's just a suggestion for me. Um, this gives us a chance to just open our hearts to the Lord and uh, gives us a regimen for studying the Bible regularly and just reading and not always feeling like um, I have to break out all of these other resources and spend five hours. We should do that, but sometimes it's not conducive. Our time is not conducive to doing that. So reading um, certain passages every day for a year time, for a year's time and being able to read through the entire Bible, I think that's pretty cool. I think, um, well, I'm sure, you know, God will speak to us just today something that I have been praying about um, over the past week, um, God just illuminated to me and addressed that particular thing through the passages that I was reading. You know, I opened the Bible just to read, believing that the Lord would speak to me in a relevant way um, through reading, um, not knowing that the book and the chapters that I was going to read were actually going to give me some specific answers um, to those things. Um, chapters that I've read before and never seen um, what I found when I was reading. So I attribute all of that to the power of the Holy Spirit. And um, I'm just very encouraged by it. And my prayer is that I will be diligent and I will be um, consistent with the reading plan this year. Um, and just spending time in the Word outside of when I'm studying for, you know, anything in particular to teach or even to say to you guys. But, um... And also knowing that as I read the Word of God, He will share with me what I need to know and what I need to share um, to other people and what I need to just hold in my heart and, and ponder as He speaks to me and um, as His Word takes root in my heart. So I just wanted to encourage you all with that briefly. Find some time on a regular basis to say a prayer and go to the Scripture without an agenda and allow God to speak to you. All right, so I'm going to end this Worth Wednesday because I got to run. I hope you all are um, having a great first few days of 2019. Um, my prayers are with you, everyone that watches this, that um, you will know that the Lord is with you always and that the God of peace will strengthen you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will abound in hope. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for Worth Wednesday. Bye.